This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is giving another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, playing with this, oh man, this awesome Gym Knight deck again. I had so much fun in the last video, and between then, I've been playing this deck a lot in my spare time, because it is a monstrosity of science and nature. If there were ever any proof that Santa Claus is real, it exists right here on this screen because tis the season to be jolly. And who am I jolly? I am having so much fun. Uh, but so, in theory, uh, my, th my, th my theory for testing this deck, uh, I put evenly matched in it. Uh, Absorb Fusion was like the, sh like the worst card in my deck. Uh, so I took those out um, because it's very limiting to your play structure. Uh, and I put these in. Uh, basically, we're just going to see how it goes, how it functions, uh, because I, in theory, if I go second, I can just struggling battle them, and then I can just win. That's the theory, because I, I don't need a battle phase with this deck. This deck needs no battle phase. It's such, <laughs> it's such a gimp-ass deck, because you just burn them with this girl. You just do it. And it makes me really happy, and also kind of disturbed inside but anyway let's not waste any more time with this part of the video let's just jump straight into the first of hopefully a few games and hopefully they play out kind of well all right I fear not the die roll time to spread some Christmas spirit um, okay crystal rolls ash blossom grinder golem I like where this is going grinder golem just automatically searches gym night fusion so that's huge that is literally the hugest thing um, I'm kind of afraid of if my opponent has a Grinder Golem though, because if they are playing a Grinder Golem combo deck, then I don't have the card that stops that, and that would be Ghost Ogre. Ghost Ogre on a Caution Magician ends the Grinder Golem combo. Um, so like, ah, Metal Foes Symphonics. Well, all right. I can't say that I'm upset. I could say that I'm confused, but I can't say that I'm upset. It's 2 a.m. on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Percy. I'm not sure what I should be expecting at this point. Uh, but it got pretty late while I was enjoying some Duel Links and while I was enjoying playing this deck after I did some Duel Links grinding uh, because it's a new competitive format. Um, or a new competitive season, rather. Not a format. Nothing's really changed. Uh, except the Six Samurai mini box came out, but it's not really too competitively defining in Duel Links because it's only like the first wave of Six Samurais and that's really slow for Duel Link standards. Oh! Astrographer Sorcerer! I'm going to Ash Blossom this. Uh, Metal Fuse Fusion and Metal Fuse Combination. Alright. Well, so I will uh, I will do that. That way you don't get to search any scale. You have a low scale here and a low scale here. There's. It may seem like I just did that really seat of my pantsy. And there was a method behind it. Is that I saw only low scales from my opponent. And then he was doing an Astrograph Sorcerer. Um, which honestly I probably should have let resolve. But I think it's fine. Because at this point he's stuck penduluming it, which doesn't get a huge amount of value, although Heavy Metal Foes Electrum does give a lot of value. I'm not quite sure what the Symphonic Warrior Mikes is doing in there, though, because uh, he hasn't even normal summoned once, much less getting the additional normal summon. I mean, I know Guitars is cool, because you can get Guitars, put out Mikes, and then that's half of your uh, that's half of your puzzle for Heavy Metal Foes Electrum, but otherwise, I think, I think that, I think that me not Really? Only one? Not even the Astrograph? Interesting. Well, the Astrograph gets summoned here. I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. I completely forgot that this was just another Metal Foes card! Uh, so yeah, using Ash on that Astrograph was... Uh, arguably a mistake. Doesn't matter though. I've got Grinder Golem. Now I've got these cards. I know what every single card here is. Um, there's only going to be potential for one unknown if he uses Heavy Metal Foes Electrum to draw a card, uh, but otherwise, I think I think we're good to go. I can just Grinder Golem him, I can get access to my Gym Knight Fusion because of Kairos, um, and then we're good. I've got double Firewall uh, potential, I've got a lot of nonsense. That's the thing, yeah, the Kairos combo searches M Gym Knight Fusion, mills cards to set up your graveyard as well, it mills cards twice, so you mill off the Akashic Magician and then you mill off the Kairos. Um, which is really good. That's you're legit milling like seven or eight cards. 
um, which you could be hitting Lazulis in there to get extra advantage as well. Uh, there's quite a there's quite a few things. Okay, so yeah, he uh, he popped to summon to add back Astrograph, um, and I just don't know what this card is. That's the only card I don't know. If it stays in his hand, then we're golden. Uh, but regardless, there's a counter I have to deal with. Silly me, I don't have to deal with this counter. This is a no attacking in the battle phase. This is a no attacks gameplay video, just like the last one. No attacks necessary. Uh, I'm just going to do my Grinder Golem play. He summoned this here to cuck me from Grinder Golem. I've just realized this. Smart boy. Um, it goes out the window though if I draw evenly matched, <laughs> because I can just clear whatever zone I want. Um, uh, Metal Foes Fusion. So he's fusing now with these two. Ah, if he doesn't summon Mithrilium over here, he fucked up. He fucked up. Well, he can't summon it over here because of the zones. Ha ha, I don't have to out your shit anymore. Uh, cool. Cool beans. Has he drawn more cards? That's Abysma here. That's a Volflame. I'm only going to worry about what's set here. I don't even know why I'm trying to, like, metagame the shit out of this. I'm only going to worry about what's here. And that's a combination and that's a counter. That's a full Metal Foes Fusion. Well, he could go into Alkahaste with that. Um, okay, so nothing set that I have to worry about. Good. I'm okay with this. Um, so we can go into Alkahaste. Uh, he can do a lot. Ah, that's a Gym Knight Fusion. That's really good. It's really good. How can I bait this, uh, this Alkahaste? Tell me, duelists. How do I bait the Alkahis? Let's see. I can make Zirconia and attack his Heavy Metal Fuzz Electrum. Um, he's a duelist, so he probably won't let that go. Um, hmm. This is the question that I have to answer. That I have to ask myself. Because Gym Knights have, like, no extra attack remo based removal. Um... It's kind of irritating, actually. You know what? Um, mm, you know what? I, I'm going to play this first. Yes. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go into Crystal Rose. Uh, I'm going to try and bait the uh, the Alkahist Metal Flows combination. All right. Cool. Cool, man. Are you going to chain your full Metal Flows Fusion and fuse with the card out of your hand? That's definitely what you should do. In which case, then I go into battle phase with my monster. I attack into your Alkahist. You suck it up to protect it. And then main phase two, I kill you. With firewalls and grinder goal. There you go. Good man. Alright. Because you'll have so many special summon monsters on the field at that point. You'll have the one from this from your extra deck. You'll have this. You'll have the Alkahist will die. Um, you'll have the one that comes back off combination. You'll have the one that you probably summon out of your deck off counter. Oh, you're not summoning one off of this? Very strange. Very odd. I find this odd. Uh, so I'll summon Zirconia. And then, yeah, Metal Foes Combination is going to bring back your monster. Uh-huh. 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 Yas. Yas. All right. Uh, so I can attack the Alkahist that will 100% force it. Um, there's no way that it doesn't. Uh, and then you'll suck this up, and then that's great. That's great. That's good. You've got three special summon monsters on the field. That's already 1,500 points of work done for me. Grinder Golem can carry the rest of this operation all by himself because I've got one Gym Knight in hand already, um, and I can easily mill more with my other cards. So we're gonna see how this one goes. Target an effect monster your opponent controls. I kill the Alkahist. Oh, no. I didn't actually want this. I should have attacked this. <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. This is a problem. Did I need this zone open for my shit to work? Is this when it's sent from... And this card is sent from field to grave, yeah. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll just hit this. Ah, 
fuck me. I should have summoned... No, I couldn't afford to summon anything else. I couldn't afford to summon the Lady Brilliant Diamond. I couldn't afford to summon this. Like, I couldn't afford to do any of that. I got next leveled by the fact that his card interacts with mine in such an insane way. Um, that actually hurts my soul. That actually hurts my soul! Uh, well that means I have to normal summon and go into Phantom Core now. Wait, do I? Or can I fix this? Let's see. Banish fusion monster in your grave and bring that out. Alright. So. Um, let's see if we can fix this. Uh, I think I can fix it. I think. I'm not sure. But I think. Because if I do this. I can go into Lady Lapis Lazuli. Here. And then I can bring back my Crystal Rose. By banishing the Zirconia. And then I can make this into a Gym Knight monster. By doing this. This will add back a monster, which will add back this. Yes. Amazing. Fantastic. In fact, uh, and then this goes here. Um, and then I can... I can special summon this, which will just generate more tokens. So I will. So I'll do this here and here. I'll summon this over here. I'll activate this to send uh, something. I'll just send another vanilla because I can't add anything back. So I'll send a vanilla. That's 4K. All right. Are we IQing the shit out of this? I think we are. Um, because now I can go into my Phantom Core up here. I can use its effect to add obsidian. Oh my god, I have game! Duelists! It's time! Alright. So I can activate this, pay a thousand, for diamond. I can shuffle back this from my banished zone, this from my banished zone, and this from my banished zone. Summon diamond here. And then I can activate this to banish this. And then I can activate this. I win! I, I just had to look at it. I had to look at it! I just had to actually stop being a dingus! Hell... Yes. Alright. Good. I thought I cock-blocked myself out of that one. Turns out, I did not do such a thing. But anyway, we will be going straight into the next game now, before I start rambling on into indefinite... Into infinity? Indefinitely? Indefinitality? I don't even know what word would be proper there. I don't know. Let's just go. We're here for two things. And that's for Christmas spirit, and for bants. Quality banter. I had no idea that I, I'm so, like, surprised that I actually won that last game. <laughs> like, it gets me. Alright, I'm going second, and there's an evenly matched and a rescue rabbit in my hand, and an obsidian. Game duelist! Even through this upstart. Another de another card that I want to play in this deck is, like, Desires. Uh, because, like, everything is a three of. Um, so, like, Desires is, in theory, probably, like, one of the best cards, because it gives you extra cards. Um, why is Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro not responding? There it is. Alright. It was just like, it just grayed itself out, and then it came back. Magical Meltdown, you say? Alright. Well, you're gonna summon the Merkaba, and I don't think you're gonna play around evenly matched. I don't think you are. I don't think you're gonna hold a trap card. Um, like, nobody plays around evenly matched. In fact, you might not even be able to make Merkaba. <laughs> like, oh, and you don't even have, like, Spellbook of Knowledge or Wonder Wand. You're making the... The Earth one. Well, Alright. This actually benefits me, right? Yeah. Fusion Summon Monsters. Alright, cool. Set cards. Neat. Well, I'm just gonna... That's a Grinder Golem! Ah! The Book of Law. <laughs> He's turning it into a Merkava. That's the shittiest interaction I've ever fucking seen. All right. Well, battle phase. Uh, main phase two. Attempt to activate my struggling battle. So this will get rid of these. Yeah. Cool. All right. Main phase two. Quality. All right. So now I'll special summon these. 
Special summon this grinder golem token, uh, grinder golem to your field, good sir. I believe you'll find that it's the best way for you to uh, go in business. Um, the thing is, this grinder golem play is not going to do a whole lot because he has a monster in his hand that he can use for negation. So I can do this, and that'll special summon. What I need to do is I need to bait this man. I need to bait him. And this is how we bait him. First we activate this. We make it look like I want to fuse with these tokens, because I guarantee you this man does not know how Gym Knights work. Oh! He's letting it happen. Alright. Sure. Um, cool. So, I'll summon this, using these two, up here. Um, and so what I'm going to try and do is I'm just going to try and make it where he cannot afford to not negate this card. Um, like, he needs to negate this card. That's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to make it to where he has to negate this. Um, because he's going to take a shit ton of burn damage otherwise. Oh! Shit, you're not doing it. Well then, got my ass. Alright, cool. Um, then we'll use this. It'll add itself back to my hand. And now I can just make Phantom Core. The thing is, if he doesn't get rid of this, then I just Phantom Core him. Like, it's, it's no big deal. It's not a big deal at all, in fact. So I just get, I do these into Phantom Core. And then this activates its effect. You have to negate somewhere here, dude. And once you do, you lose. Because the grinder go, yeah. Good. Good job. And now, the grinder golem play continues. <laughs> you lose. And there's nothing left for you here. Except failure. Unless that last card in your hand is a ghost ogre. In which case, that's the hard counter to the grinder golem combo. Okay, no. Didn't even give you a response window. So that means you do not have Ghost Ogre. Or any hand trap for that matter. Either that or you're just next leveling the shit out of me. Uh, but regardless. Now? Now it's just... It's over. It's overtime. Like, it's it's time for this game to end. Um, because what I have is I have a grinder token, generating machine, and it's... Uh, it gets easy. Because now I can just burn for more. He's already at 6k. It's time to burn. Um, but so we'll go into firewall with these, uh, and I'm going to activate this. I'm going to call Brilliant Fusion, because that'd be a good card to have, wouldn't it? Brilliant Fusion. Max C, Grinder Golem, Ash Blossom, and Garnet. Nah, no Brilliant Fusion. Well then. All right. Still fine. We'll still mess with this. I can add, you know what? I'm going to add the Grinder Golem from my graveyard to my hand. Because that puts more special summon monsters on the field. Boy, howdy. Alright, so. I'm going to summon this. I'm going to summon this. I'm going to special this over there. Uh, now, what I need is I need to get access into Crystal Rose. Um, because it's live. Uh, well, no, it's not live. I need to... What I need to do is I need to make... Uh, I need to summon Link Karibo back from Grave here. Um, and so this is going to be how we do this. Is that I'm going to go with these three into a, um, into the Kairos. And then I'm going to, uh, summon the, I'm going to summon the, uh, fucking rabbit out of my hand with Firewall Dragon. So, yes. Uh, Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2. Uh, so this will summon a rabbit out of my hand here, next to Firewall. And then this Kairos is going to send... Um, I don't want to send Crystal Rose because the only fusion I have in my graveyard is one that I want there. So I'm going to send this uh, Lazuli. And then, uh, yes, I'll use this effect to add back my Lapis. This can summon, uh, let's see, what did I mill? I milled two more Lapises, which means I still have two Garnets in my deck, which are live for this. Alright, so we'll summon these here. And then I have access into Gym Knight Fusion for Master Diamond, or for this, for Lady Brilliant Diamond. No, nah, that's, that's too cheesy. Uh, Master Diamond. So we'll go one, two, three, into Master Diamond. And then I'll activate my Brilliant Fusion, or my Gym Knight Fusion. And I will banish a Lazuli that adds this back to hand. Then I'll activate this, 
banishing this, then I'll activate its effect, sending another copy, another 3k, and now what I have to do is I have to... I have to deal with this. I thought that I had game, but it turns out I was wrong. Um, can I make this? This is Gym Knights, this is Gym Knights, this is Gym Knights. Fuck. Um, so what I'll do is I will... Hmm, well he has to out this. He has to out this. And he doesn't have an Elaster in his hand anymore. Um, huh. Interesting. He's got Grinder Golems though. He has those. Um, <laughs> alright, you know what? Pass turn. <laughs> is that how this goes? Is it pass turn duelist? Um, I think there was a different way that I should have done that. Uh, but regardless, uh, he can't get over the Master Diamond unless he draws in uh, another Alistair. Um, so that's fine because like the Master Diamond just sits here and just literally like makes him hate life. He can attack over my other two monsters, but the Master Diamond not so okay. Well, there's Alistair. He drew Invocation. He hard drew Invocation. Rip, rip to me. All right. <laughs> Where did I do this wrong? I got really caught up in the moment, and I think I did something critically wrong. Made a critical error somewhere, and I don't know what it was. I'm gonna have fun reviewing this footage. Hmm. Oh, that it all goes back to how like you take losses. I mean, like I'm not upset about it. Um, am I a little bit embarrassed? Maybe. I don't know. I feel like I did something wrong. Um, it, I probably should have. You know what? Let's see here. I think my problem was that, well, I don't know if I could have burned him otherwise. I think I should have gone for the Grinder Golem play and let that be what tried to bait the Macabre Negation because that was a free combo anyway. Um, and then I probably should have, um, I think I should have, um, what's the, what's the thing I'm trying to say here? I think I should have used my Gym Knight Fusion for the uh, for the lap for the lady lapis lazuli later, so that I could have um, so that I could uh, so that I could use the gym knight phantom cores effect to fuse again. That's probably what got me because phantom core being able to fuse just for literally free. Um, that's like huge. What does this thing do? Um, destroy a battle. You can uh, took one card, add it to my hand. All right. Well, my opponent is... Inter that's interesting. Alright. Whatever. Um, so I can, target a, I can target a card to add to my hand. I can add evenly matched to my hand? Are you serious? A card in my graveyard and add it to my hand. Wow. Okay, well, let's see. What's the right card to pick here? Uh, I think the right card to pick is 100% this obsidian. Because if I draw into anything, I can fuse, and then I'm pretty good, right? How did the... I don't even know what happened to the entire board. Why'd you summon a ghost ogre for it to go away? Oh, you made a list. You made this. I see. Crystal Rose? That's actually a really good card. It's actually very good. Oh, hell yeah. That's actually super good. Um... Is that, like, game status? I think that's just game. I think that's literally game status. I could just attack him for game, but that's boring. Um, we'll bring that guard in. No! Wait, no. All my Lazulis are gone anyway. This is a Master Diamond play. That's what we were always doing. <laughs> I was like, wait! No! <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna banish um, this. Wait a second. Wait. My things are over here. <laughs> Um, hmm. I think I do have to attack him for game. Pisses me off, but I think I do. Um, so yeah, we'll do this. Banishing that. Hurts my soul. Um, we'll do this. Send Lazuli to grave. Activate effect. To add back Garnet. That's irritating. That, that hurts my soul. I don't want to attack for game. That's not how this is supposed to go. Um... But so let's see, uh, my Master Diamond would be huge, swollen, uh, even is the term. 
And I could just attack this, uh, and then attack um, the this, and then he has like no play. Uh, at least that's the thought. That's the theory. Um, so I'll use this, I'll use the core, and that. Yeah. How big is this? 36? Fucking massive. Alright. So, yeah. I don't want to have to be attacking. But it's it's what's happening. I have no idea where my opponent didn't just kill me. What was this Elysium bullshit that he pulled? I don't understand. There, there's something I'm missing here. Some critical piece of information. Uh, all I know is that I'm glad that this is bigger than Merkaba now. Um, well, it would suicide with Merkaba if he had uh, the uh, Laster. But, like, what what happened here? Like, where where is your play? What Where did it go wrong? I'm so confused. I stopped looking at the ca I stopped looking at the screen, and I don't know what happened and what went wrong. I, I don't understand how I won that. I messed up a lot. My opponent had a lot of things. I don't know what happened. I 100% do not know what happened. All right, what the hell? Well, I guess we're going to call it into this one because we're already near like the 25-ish minute mark and I don't want this to get really obscenely long. If I'd gone in for another game, I probably could have just pounded it out really quickly with an FTK or probably would have been another situation like the last two games where literally things have just been really slow going. Um, even though I was doing a lot of plays in game one and the game only lasted two turns, uh, it was still a really long game. It was like a 12-minute game. Uh, so I guess we're just going to call it here. But I will probably still be doing one more duel video with Gym Knights. I do tend to like to do these in groups of three. If you remember how I used to do duel videos, I'd always do them like three at a time for a deck and then move on to another one. So I think I'm going to do another one with Gym Knights because tis the season to have the shit scared out of you by some FTKs. So I think we'll just mess around with it. Um, we'll just keep messing around with it because I really enjoy this archetype. I've always loved Gym Knights ever since their first waves of support. It's always been a deck that I've always really, really enjoyed going and tinkering with. Uh, and now that the deck's been modernized with literally like an FTK strategy, um, or a burn strategy, I should say, while also being very efficient at doing everything else, things just uh, things just go in, hand in hand and in line for you. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As per usual, links as always are in the description down below to my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you enjoy the content I've been making and want to help support the ability to continue making content, then Patreon is obviously the best way to do so. Even something as little as a dollar a month is a fantastic way to show your support for content that you love, and you'd have my eternal gratitude if that's something that you'd like to go do. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, as always. Thanks for your time, as usual, guys. And, ah, take care. Man, this one felt weird. 2 a.m. on Percy. Not the best time to be alive. All right, so now that the video's over, I'd like to give a special thanks to Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, Troy Perkins, and Eric Gertson, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You guys help out a ton, a lot more than you may ever know, and you have my eternal gratitude. You guys are forever awesome. Thank you so much for the support, you guys.